Hello, my name is Dr. Colin Summerall, and I'm the Invertebrate Paleontology in the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences at the University of Tennessee. As an echinoderm worker, I'm often asked what features define an echinoderm, and the one that most people know is this. Echinoderms have a five-part symmetry. But the nature of that symmetry is not at all like most people think. When people look at a modern echinoderm, such as this brittle star, the five-fold symmetry is one of the most obvious features of the organism. In fact, this five-fold symmetry is a feature of all modern echinoderms except for crinoids, a group known as Eleutherozoa, which we'll be discussing in a later episode. And even within Eleutherozoans, some groups, such as the spatangoid, have superimposed bilateral symmetry over the inherent five-fold symmetry of their ancestral condition. Rather than being a radial symmetry where all five rays evenly exit the mouth, as seen in a starfish, most fossil echinoderms are actually bilaterally symmetric, where three rays exit the mouth, one on top, two on the sides, and then the two on the sides split, forming what's known as a two, one, two ambulacral symmetry. What makes this problem more difficult is that most of the groups of echinoderms that people are used to talking about, starfish, brittle stars, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers, show the five-fold symmetry. The two, one, two symmetry is shown by virtually every other group of echinoderms with the exception of a few really early forms found mainly in the Cambrian and Ordovician. Diagrammatically, we can see how this works by thinking about a centrally located mouth. In an Eleutherozoan, five rays extend from that mouth evenly like that, and we see that in the way the animal grows. In other echinoderms, the centrally located mouth has three rays coming out, one up and two to the side, which we call laterally shared ambulacra, and then those split like that. That gives us a plane of symmetry through the animal. Because we can see this bilateral symmetry, what we can tell is that the mouth situated in the middle of the ambulacra is the center of three distinct rays what we call the shared ambulacra going to the right and left, and the A ambulacrum going towards the top. The sides then split, showing what's become known as the 212 symmetry after the work of James Sprinkle. This same arrangement can be seen in other echinoderms, such as this Neoisorofusella. The shared ambulacra are positioned over the mouth, the A ambulacrum comes out, and then the two side ambulacra split. The hydropore and gonopore and the anal opening both lie in the CD interambulacrum. In other echinoderms, such as this blastoid pentromites, the 212 symmetry has been greatly reduced to create what's known as pseudo fivefold symmetry. Note, however, in the middle that the mouth in black still retains some bilateral symmetry being wider than it is high. Well, I hope you found this video useful and I look forward to talking to you about more echinoderm features and morphologies in the near future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.